What is going on everybody and welcome to part 5 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to add another element to our HUD which is going to contain the weapon name and the current amount of primary and secondary ammo that their current weapon has. So let's begin. We want to draw a container here. So draw dot rounded box and no rounded corner so set that to 0, 255 is the X screen height minus 70 and what this is going to do is the screen height portion is going to move it to the bottom of the screen and the minus 70 is going to move it back up a little bit so you can actually see what's being drawn. After this the X or the width I mean is 125 and height is 70. We're just going to set the color to the same color that was up here which is just 30, 30, 30 and a little bit of transparency so 230. Close that up. And if we go into our game now, we can see that the little box was drawn right next to the health and armor box. Now after this, we want to get the current name, and we want to print out the current name of the weapon. So if the client, and the client is just the player, and it's the name of the variable that's currently uh, set to local player up at the top. So if the client get active weapon... The get active weapon will just return the current weapon the player is holding. And we want to get the print name here. The print name is just a nicer looking version of the weapon name. So instead of having weapon underscore pistol, it would just show pistol. So we want to check to make sure that this does not equal nil. And the reason we check this is because when the player dies, for some reason, the weapon name becomes nil, or the print name becomes nil, and it throws an error. So we're just using this to suppress that error. So we want to then put a then there and end it off. And now inside of these, we want to just draw some simple text. And we're going to make this text equal to client, get active weapon. Again, the get active weapon will just return the current weapon the player is holding. And then get print name. And derma default bold will be the font. X value is 260 and Y value is going to be screen height minus 60. Then we're going to set this color to just 255, 255, 255 and an alpha of 255. And then we're just going to throw in these zeros. Now if we were to run it, you can see that the name of the weapon that we're currently holding is printed out. Next up, we want to print out the primary ammo. So we want to check if the client and get their active weapon and get their first clip. And the clip one here, just like that, is going to return the primary clip or the amount of ammo in their primary clip. We're going to make sure that this does not equal negative one because if it equals negative one, then we don't want to display this at all. So then, let's end it off want to draw simple text and we're going to just give this a little title here just call it ammo so people know what exactly the number next to this is so two dots concatenate client get active weapon their clip one so amount of ammo in their primary clip and concatenate onto this and we're just going to do a forward slash to separate the current amount of ammo in the clip and the total amount of ammo they're currently holding. So we're going to concatenate again. And we're going to do client get ammo count. Client inside of this. We want to put client get active weapon. And then get primary ammo type. Now what this will do is it will get the total amount of ammo that the player is holding. That is... The primary ammo type for their current weapon they're holding so let's say they're holding the pistol this thing will right here will get the pistol ammo and then this will return how much pistol ammo in total they have or they're holding so then we just want to close that off just to no not yet actually sorry we want to set the derma default bold again and the x value is 260 Y is going to be screen height minus 40. And the color is just going to be the default we've been using, which is 255, 255, 255. And then 0, 0 at the end. Now if we were to run this, you can see that our ammo is now printed out there. 
we got the current ammo in the clip next to the total amount of ammo that we have for this weapon. So if I reload, that number will go down. Now after this, we want to do an else statement here. Because if it does equal negative 1, we don't want it to do the, uh, the, uh, we don't want it to display the clip 1. Because let's say they're using, uh, just grenades. The grenades don't have a clip, so that would just display negative 1. And we do not want that. That would not look good. So we fix this by doing an else statement here and doing about the same thing, except instead of printing out this part here, we just print out the client get ammo count for the current weapon they're using by doing the client get active weapon. Oops. And get primary ammo type, like so. And then again, we just fill this up with the defaults here, which is derma default bold. And the X is 260, Y is screen height, minus 40. And the color, again, is 255, four times. And then just 0, 0 to end it off. Now, what should happen here is when I switch to something like a grenade, It'll just show the total amount of grenades that I have, which it does, and RPG will show me the total amount of rockets that I have, or RPGs that I have. So there's the primary ammo. We can move on to the secondary ammo now. So if client get ammo count, and the reason we're doing ammo count is because in a lot of cases, the secondary ammo is not going to be stored in a clip. It's just going to... Just, it's going to be just held by the player, basically. So we want to do get ammo count for the current weapon that they have. So client get active weapon. And get the secondary ammo type. And if this is greater than zero, the reason we're doing this is because we, we want to make sure that Weapons such as the pistol, which don't have any secondary ammo, will not show up as secondary zero. So, that's why we have that. So if it's greater than zero, then we want to just end all that. And inside of this, we want to draw simple text. Secondary. Again, just to make it clear as to what the number preceding this is. Or following this is, sorry. And we want client get ammo count. Client get active weapon. Get secondary ammo type. And then we're just going to fill in our defaults again, which is derma default bold. The X value is 260. Y value is going to be screen height, minus 25. And a color is just going to be the four 255s again and then zero, zero to end it off. Now if we were to run this, everything should be working perfectly fine now. If we go to something like the pulse rifle, we got the secondary ammo. We go to something like the SMG, there's no secondary ammo right now, but if I give myself a grenade, I get shown that secondary, which is one, shoot it, it's gone, and stuff like the pistol don't show secondary ammo at all. So that'll conclude part five. Hopefully you learned something, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.